Big B's Daily Vlogs. With Alamo Square Park right up here. And the famous Painted Ladies right up there. There's a couple pop-up murals we're going to go check out today. So let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Mural week, in full effect, I guess you can say. This is like the third week of me doing murals. This time, I'm here in the Nopa area, Painted Ladies, the old Victorians part of San Francisco, Alamo Square Park right behind me over there because some pop-up murals have just popped up. We're gonna go check them out. Let's go. Let's go. Right there, right across the street, we have seven pop-up murals that different people decided to do that we're gonna go check out. Let's go across the street. First one we're gonna look at is by an artist by the name of Cobre. Cobre art is what it says over there. But he's looking at you. He's definitely staring at you. I like I like the way that looks. I mean the details in the eyes. I mean just standing from back here definitely looks like definitely looks like a person staring at you. Going to the next one. This one is by a Campbell Art. This one's more peaceful more on the colorful side of the mural. Uh, I guess this is artwork more paintings than it is murals but that one looks nice too. Hugging some leaves from what it looks like and a sign of peace right there to the left. It's definitely a nice spring color. And as we go to this one right here, Pakaila, Pakaila, Pakaila. This one's just ordinary flowers. Still art, still nice, different colors, which is cool. This one right here is by Ricky Watts. And this one looks more of the abstract type mural, which is also really cool. Different colors, the colors that are dripping. Definitely nice to look at. Then this one right here is by Ursula, Ursulax Young. And it's a lady who has butterflies on her shoulder. Looks like standing right by the painted ladies. That's pretty cool. Nice description of a lady on a nice hot day wearing a nice tank top like today. Next one is by Canner 1SF, if I can see that right. More, again, another one of the abstract type artwork. Different colors, black and orange, kind of represents the giants. And if we come in a little closer, it's a little more detailed in the artwork which is cool. I'm standing back because I don't want my shadow in any of this artwork, but that's definitely a cool piece right there. This one right here, when I drove by the other day, I can't see if there's an artist, but you see it. It says, it's, it's the symbol for and, which is cool, but if you look close to it, check this out. See that? It's a bunch of like tiles and woodwork that was done here. But from far away, as we back up, you see the, the symbol for and. That to me is cool. It's cool because looking at the camera, I see the symbol for and, but me staring at it, I don't see the symbol for and. Like looking at it, with my bare eyes, which I am right now, but I'm looking at my camera screen and I can actually see the symbol, but staring at it, I can't see the symbol. That's cool. And the last one is by Finch, 
Nick, and it's your basic rubber ducky. Cool. Right over here is again the people. The it's called Art On Site SF. It's, it's, says welcome to the painted gentleman this is temporary art installation with murals that rotate every six to nine months so if come back here within six to nine months it'll be different i like it this is cool how, how cool are they especially the eye where did the eye go i walked a little too far down but this is definitely one of these cool things that you definitely will miss if you know you're here to see the painted ladies which is right up the street but then all of a sudden you're, you have an eye staring right at you. Pretty cool. The eyes looking right at me. Kind of freaked out. But man, again, artwork that San Francisco has. This is the, called the Painted Gentleman up here by the Painted Ladies in the Nopa District, which is kind of cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Now again, seven artworks by seven different people, art artists that just popped up right here. And again, it's pretty cool how they did this. They took this piece of land that they could have put a house in the background. They, you know, and they had this empty fence just sitting here. But instead, they put artwork here. And I like it. This is parts, things in that makes mural week pretty fun to do because of these little things that's that's here right this one this one and the and symbol right there is my favorite see from over here you could actually see the symbol of and but when i was standing in front of it you couldn't see it well, with the naked eye i couldn't see it but with the camera and i took a photo of it you could actually see it this is some ingenious cool work but all of these work deserves deserves a thumbs up. Thumbs up, guys. All of you guys. Thumbs up. Yeah, see, staring at it with the naked eye, you can't see it. But looking at it in the camera, it's kind of creepy. Because I can see the symbol. You guys can see the symbol. But when I look at it direct that I'm doing right now, I can't see it at all. What gives? See, on a nice day like today, everybody's over there hanging out, remembering the entrance to the Full House theme, them having a picnic right over there in Alamo Park, Alamo Square Park, and then looking at the painted ladies up there, but down the street, not realizing there's some nice artwork right here. This is some, some good artwork. And it's pretty cool because look at that ant symbol from this side. It's white. That's cool. And then when I come around towards the front of it, it's a little bit of both colors. But if I come from behind it, it's black and white. Pretty cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for another week of mural week. There's going to be another mural tomorrow. The weather has been perfect three days of hot today is about 80 degrees anything past 65 it is summer in san francisco but why do i feel like someone's watching looking at me i have this weird feeling that someone's looking or watching me anyways mural week will continue again tomorrow I'm trying to think of which one i'm going to touch again tomorrow um there is a couple few that i want to touch touch on talk about We'll see how it works tomorrow. We'll see how it works. Again, the weather's been nice. Mural work has been fun. And again, someone is watching me. I just can't figure out who. I had fun doing it. I enjoyed doing it. I did. I, and I'm going to continue doing it. Just, we'll see. We'll see how much longer I can do mural week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. My subscribers is kind of fallen off the radar let's get that subscribers up again and again someone is watching me what what the heck let's get these subscribers up tell your friends to subscribe to the channel i am going to get out and do more different things other than murals we are going to take more san francisco adventures guaranteed i promise 
I promise I am still using the DJI Osmo Pocket and I love it. And they came out with this adapter that I can actually use my Rode Video Micro on it now. So, game changer. Another game changer. Let's see. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe here from the Painted Gentleman, I guess is what it's called. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. I swear, no matter where I look, it feels like someone's watching me. What gives, buddy? What gives? What gives? You keeping an eye on me? You keeping an eye on me? Is that what's going on? I made this.